so now in last video we learn how to create our api and test it uh, but in this one we'll create api and connect with db and then we can see how it's going to work okay so now first thing i will go ahead and open that api so in the same file i'm going to now update that things okay so this time we going to use that new things so now same way i will use that app dot get so since we need to get that our record so i put that get okay and now what this time last time our api was our local host name and then slash api right now this time we'll go and put that name as get data okay so we know that okay this what it's going to do we're going to get at all those record from db okay and we can make this async because we'll get that promise return then we can put that request and response okay and then we'll make this as arrow function and okay so now what we can do we can do let data equals to db connect okay and we know this will return us promise so we'll make this a wet okay so this one now done we connected now with db last time we just a hard coded value we display now we going to do with <clears throat> db connection so now what we can do that i equals to again we need to put that a wet because it will return us promise and then data dot what we can do we need to find that all those records whatever we have so now i went and after find oh no after finding what we need to do we need to convert them to array okay so that we can see in our api okay and now after this what i can do console dot log and then i will same thing i will display in our console window as well and after that i will put that response oh express dot oh, sorry response we put that res okay response dot send okay we can put here now we can put data display okay or we can put that result also same that okay here i put that wrong i can oh, set my word and this only we can display it here as well so i will remove this that will be better okay so now i save this one so this time i'm going to use that node moon okay so might be it's not it's not installing in your server so i will let you know how to install you see node moon and then api dot js okay so whenever we use that node moon what is that point if we do any changes here okay and if you again we save it it will be automatically keep running we no need to every time run it so to install that node moon what you need to do you need to do npm okay i node moon this command you need to run in our terminal okay then it will work fine and now i will go ahead and i will save it so see again i did that save so it's keep running it if whenever we will do that save so it will keep running so now i will go it and i will try to see that now if i do that api it's coming hello okay and same thing if i go and see that in browser as well so it's coming hello now what i can do i will change that and i will use that whatever newly i have created okay so get data okay so you can see one record is there so it's displaying one okay that name address and class similarly if i go in that browser if i click on 
refresh sorry here i need to do that changes get data put that enter so see now it's a start displaying in json format all those details okay so in this way we can connect our db and we can fetch all those records similarly now we can try to learn how to do update and how to do delete insert everything through that api okay i hope you like this video thank you